Now, I, I understand that you're a cancer survivor. Cancer fighter. It's not passive, it's, it's, it's active. Exactly. Yeah. My name is uh, Esther Siegel. I am an associate professor in the Department of Biotechnology and Food Engineering in the Technion. Being a cancer patient is a hard job, I can tell you. The most difficult time is when a treatment is seized and they tell you, now you just need to wait. What do you do from now? You have to wait. Wait for what? So um, I decided uh, during that time that both me and uh, an amazing team of researchers in my lab, we can develop technologies and tools that will allow better treatment and uh, better diagnosis of uh, cancer and many other diseases as well. The aim is basically to develop a lab on a chip to take what happens in a big and centralized lab with all the technicians and the heavy equipment and make it all happen on a small chip in the size of a dime and by monitoring very small changes in the optical properties of the chip we can learn and understand what uh, happened. The Technion is a unique hub for technology. I can collaborate with engineers from mechanical engineering, from electricity engineering. This is something that uh, is not trivial in other uh, institutes. Both our labs share the vision of a lab on a chip. What we try to do is leverage the unique physics of the micro or nano scale and try to use it to create new capabilities or new tools for diagnostics and it can be in the medical field or it can be in environmental or food sensing. Uh, we received a joint grant from the Russell Berry Nanotechnology Institute, uh, which is seed money designed specifically for two researchers coming from two different disciplines to work together. And we uh, come from really very distinct areas of the campus. So mechanical engineering, engineering and, and biotechnology. biotechnology and food engineering. Right. Uh, and combining, combining uh, these different capabilities, we're able to come up with something that really would not have been possible in either of our individual labs. The advantage I see in being in the Technion is all about the people and the students that we work with. And they actually do the real work in the lab. We only send them to a mission. The fact that, you know, ST students can just uh, call me up and ask, uh, hey Moran, can we get some advice on the experiment and, and vice versa. And he uh, comes to the lab and he shows them what they did wrong and how they should fix their uh, experiment. And we exchange knowledge, not in like a formal scientific way, but uh, we're more just there in the lab, there in with, the lab with the students. And it's, uh, I think it's, it's common across, across Technion. It's a great environment to, uh, to be in uh, for us and for the students. I think the world has realized that uh, physicians only or uh, biologists only cannot solve problems. So if we will theme up together, we can bring solutions faster and better. <laughs>